Hi all. So today what we are going to see is the declaration of attributes in XML document. So first we will go through the cardinality part once more. So I am going to show you how we can validate the XML software so we can clearly understand how what the use of cardinality operators and also the attributes clearly. So the software I am using here is the Eclipse software and first of all let me create the document structure that is the DTD. So here I am going to follow an external DTD not the internal one. The previous lecture I showed you the internal document. Now I am going to show you the external document that is DTD, external DTD. So for the external DTD I have created one file called hello.dtd. The file extension will be DTD. I have to save that file. In that I am going to declare or I am going to structure all the elements that you have. The, here the, the DTD is meant for creating an employee detail. So my root element that is the first element that I am going to have in the XML is the root element and the name of the root element is employees and in that employees I am going to have an employee document. So I am closing it and then I am going to create the next element that is the employee element. The second element will be the child element of employees that is element. element then I have the employee there inside the employee I'm going to give the employee ID employee ID then I have age and then I have designation so these are the three child elements that I have in the employee details so I'm just going to copy this element part every time you don't have to type it so the third one next we are going to take the M child element of employee that is EMP ID. So EMP ID I am going to give the value there so I should give the data type of the value that is PC, PC data and we close it and then we have the element next element that is age which is having the data type as PC data again and the next element that we have is the designation one that is basic and also have the PC data the hash PC data so I'm going to validate this thing so this is how we are going to validate the one first I'm creating the uh, XML doc not the XML I'm creating the do DTD document I'm going to validate it so when I right click here I have an option called validate I can click on validate so it will show some error message if there is any problem in this DTD document and there is error message and pre previously I told you like whenever we create this one you should have a space there so here you employee the bracket in the you have to put a space you can see the error at the very end white space is required that is you need a space there now I'm going to save this document again and I'm going to validate it so this time there won't be any errors so that means the DTD document is fine. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start my XML document. So before starting the XML document I'm going to include the DTD document into my XML document. So my DTD document is hello.dtd. So for including the DTD document I'm going to use doc type. Doc type is there and next thing that I should type is the root element of the DTD element. The root element is employees so the root element is employees and next thing I should do is you are going to include it an external file so I am going to take it as a private DTD so I'm, I have to type system and then the name of the DTD file since the file is in the same folder I can just give the name of the DTD files if it is in a different folder you have to give the location of that DTD file so after typing this step you are including an external DTD into your XML document so now I'm going to start write the XML document so the first ex, uh, thing is the employees there employees and inside the employees I have the employee details so you have the employee and in that employee I have the employee name I'm just I you have to check the DTD you can see there what are the elements that you needed an employee name has a value there so I'm going to type the employee name value then I'm going to type the uh, age so age is 35 and I'm going to give the designation so the value for design is DESIG 
So any other name you give, it will be given as an error because in your document structure, it is given as desig. So I should give the same name. So I have done it and I have created the XML document there. So let me do a validation here. So if there is any errors or anything, it will show that. So what you have here is in the employee element, you have employee ID. I have given the name. You can see here, there is an error message. The name is the employee ID age and designation because I have given here employee ID. But I, here what I, what I gave was employee name. So that is not allowed in this. So the structure, you had to follow the DTD there. So it, I had to name it as employee ID. Now I'm going to save it. Let me validate this again. So you can see that there is no error messages. So this is what validation process is. So whenever you are going to send an XML document, you have to send the DTD. It follows the DTD structure. So that is why DTD is meant for structuring the XML document. Now what I am doing is I am going to add one more employee detail. One more employee detail here. So that is what and I am going to give the name as Sugarshan. Uh, he let his age be 55. Now, what I see is I have given an element, but it shoots an error here. Let's validate this thing. So, validation gives an error like content of element type must be employee. The reason for this error message is here in the last lecture, we studied something called cardinality operator. So, if you want to give more than one, more than one elements, you have to go for cardinality, cardinality operators. So, if you want to give if you give it as plus plus symbol here and I'm validating in the plus symbol here and in the previous lecture I told you plus means you can start from 1 to n that is at least one employee details to n employee details you can give it here so I'm going to validate this thing so now you can see there is no error message because you can give one or more than one elements if you want to give more than one employee details you have to use the cardinality operator as plus here so let's and in the case another, there was another cardinality operator called star star meant for zero or more now it's there is no error because already you have zero or more elements in your dtd so you think like i am deleting this one i'm deleting these values that means there is zero values in this dtd document So I have to validate this thing. You can see there is no errors because star means it satisfies zero or more. So if you have zero elements also, it will accept that DTD. But if you want more than one elements, you can go for star or plus. But in the case of question mark, I told like you can have zero or one element. So if I'm giving a question mark here and you can see if you validate this, it is an error because you have more than one elements here. So if you want more than one elements, you can go for star or plus. Same thing you can follow for employee ID or employee age or employee designation. So this is the main use of DTD and also the cardinality operators. So I have to save this. Whenever you do any changes, just save and then validate the software. So that, there is no error messages. So this is what cardinality operators are. Now in my DTD, I am going to add one attribute here because employees can be in any department we have employees. So if you want to add an attribute in your employee, employee what you have to do is you have to use the keyword at list that is A T T L I S T at least and before which element you are going to provide the attribute that is you are going to give the, give the attribute for employee element so you have to give the name of that employee element that is ele element name and then what you have to do is what is the name of the attribute that I am going to give so the name of the attribute that I am going to give here is designation and next thing we have to give the type of the element so for the attributes the data type that we use is C data and then we have something called value. Value can be many things. I will start with a default value like 0. If I give a value like this, what it understands is 
you have an attribute in employee de employee element and it has a default value of 0. So, in that employee designation if you give any other value you can give it the 0 will be overwritten. So, that is what we are going to do. Now, I am going to create a attribute for employee attribute name was designation and I am going to give 100. So, if I give 100 the 0 will be overwritten by 100. So, let us validate this thing. Errors. Here also there is no error. So, there is no error in this attribute list. So, in attributes we have something called value part. There are mainly three types of values that is possible. So, I am going to just comment here. If you want to put comment you can go for this one that is three types of values are allowed in this one. The first one is this one the default value that is a common one if you want you can use it. Another type of value that is possible in your attribute is that is hash required that hash, hash required and the next thing that you have is hash implied and the next one that you have is hash fixed. So, these three things have different usages I will tell what exactly this thing is. So, let us start with the DC data instead of 0 I am going to give the value as required. What exactly this mean is required means if you have an if you are not giving any designation it will give an error. Designation is a mandatory function in this employee part. So, if you are not giving designation I am not giving designation here. So, it will give an error message. Let us validate this thing. Sorry, this command is not possible in DTD documents. So, now we can say I validated this software, but and let me validate this one the XML document. Now, you can see that there is an error message because attribute is designation is given as required that is you, you, you should mandatorily give the designation here. So, designation equals anything assistant. I am giving an assist. Uh, Just means I am just giving the designation here. Now, if you validate the software, it will work properly. Oh, I think it is in a small letter. I copy designation capital. You have to follow the uh, cases also, okay. Designation. So, you have this thing. Let us validate. There is one more error because there is one more employee here. So, we have to put the designation for that also that is why the error message that you have. So, if you are giving the required value it understands like you, it is a mandatory field in your yeah it is it's working now. And there is another thing like instead of required if I am giving like implied means it is optional that is if it is not compulsory that you have to give the designation. In some cases you can give designation, some cases you do not have to give. For example, the second employee I am giving the designation, first employee I am not giving the designation here. So, it will not shoot an so I just validate this. I am just giving the next type that is let us save it and then you have to validate the software. Attribute list that is hash implied I M P L I D. data implied. So, I think there is some issue here. Now, 
now I think it's getting validated. Validated and looking to remove this messages. That is what we are not giving any value for the designation. Still, it will work. But if it is required, you have to give the value there. Now, the third type of thing that you have is fixed set. Fixed set means you are going to give some fixed set value here. That is, fixed set value is 789. If I am giving a fixed set value like this, it means this is a constant value and you cannot change the designation. If you give a 567 here, or again you are going 549, it gives an error because it is already fixed as a value, fixed the value as 789. You can see the error here. So, these are the three types of attribute values that you can do. So, this is how we can declare attributes. You can declare attributes for employee ID, employee or any value elements that you have. So, these are the way you can de declare it. The attribute values that you can use is hash required, hash implied and hash hash required, hash implied and hash fixed. So, that is what we have and if you want to make it as a default, you can give a default value as well, no problem. But that will be overwritten when you type something in this designation part. And this is how we can validate an XML document and this is how it will be working. So, I think you understood this topic. Thank you. We Next, we will see more details about this DTD documents. Thank you.